Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to preview Boiling Steer for PlayStation VR. The developers sent me beta code for the game, so the footage was captured on PC because, of course, as we know, on PlayStation VR we cannot have betas just for players to play. So that's what I have to work with. But the gameplay gonna be the same as on this video. Now, graphics I cannot speak of, but probably gonna look similar as well. But anyway, let me start talking about this game because it looks like we gonna have a Gooden here, it's coming from the developer Mirowin. In past they did Guns and Stories Bulletproof VR, which was a very polished wave shooter, but nevertheless it was a wave shooter, which come out in a times when people been getting sick of a wave shooter. Still good game, but sadly, you know, it's wave shooter. We played tons of them, while this one is completely different beast because it's a first person shooter with smooth locomotion, smooth turning, everything is here, but also tons of other mechanics, which I gonna talk about in a minute, but first of all, meaning and the message. So you go into a colony planet because you want to escape the life on Earth, you want to search for a better life, you go into your capsule, you know, your hibernation capsule, and then on the planet, rules are a bit different than on Earth because people can transfer consciousness, they can teleport themselves and stuff like that, but sadly, as you learn, and you realizing that some shit gone down and this shit was very heavy and very smelly because the things are not as you expected. There is some radical groups sent the virus that uses the machines, the machines that used to do people dirty work, they now get turned against people. As always, people made machines and now they gonna kill them, that's how it goes. Never make robots that can think for themselves or can be hacked, did nobody learn this lesson yet? You don't even have a gun or nothing, you gonna have to use modified tools as your guns, but they working pretty good. I gonna talk about it now, about the action side of this game, because you equipped with two guns, there is total nine of them in the game, but you carrying two and you can swap them on the go by pressing a button and pulling them away, like kind of un unfolding them. You don't reload in them, you just drop one on the floor and unfold in another one. You've got melee tools and also you've got long range tools. It works very great because you have to use them for different enemies, so you're gonna swap them on the go. So also you're gonna have to memorize your enemies to know which weapon use on which enemy. You're gonna inhabit the shells, which are basically robot suits because your body is not in a very good shape. Sadly, it's in a terribly bad shape, so robots are the way to go. The story is told to you nicely through the voices, you listen to it, there is a bit of humor chucked for a good measure, so you know, there is some lightheartedness to this game as well. But anyway, let's touch a bit more about the gameplay, because as you're playing through the game, the different mechanics gonna unfold, you're gonna realize that you can access like teleportation portals, and basically they fly in you around the levels, and views are beautiful. Also, you'll be hacking computers, unlocking stuff, you got little pad at your disposal what can connect to shit, also you'll be collecting some energy to power your shells, and also, of course, you will be unlocking new shells, there is very nice level up system, works very good with this game, because you always progressing, there is tons of levels. I think in this beta is about 4 hours of gameplay, but in the full game the developers promising 10 hours of gameplay, and that is for experienced players, so you know, might be even more if you're not that much into shooters, so definitely sounds good to me, I was very surprised when I launched this game, I didn't expect it, what I gonna to see, the levels are designed beautifully, there's very nice verticalness to this game, and verticalness in VR feels awesome. It's not just flat levels, what you're walking around, no, there's ramps, there's lift, there's stairs, there's those teleports, there's loads of enemies appearing on screen in front of you, so you have to shoot them, then you have to go somewhere, hack a computer, unlock the gate, pull the lever and go through the gate, do it over again, then find some energy, battery, and that's how the game goes. The gameplay definitely is very satisfying, because there is a lot of mechanics to it, so they keep in things fresh all the time. Also, variety of levels is nice, we've got some sandy levels, some caves, some ice levels as well. 
also some sky levels so definitely what I played I enjoyed a lot and when it comes to PlayStation VR we're gonna have finally shooter on a bigger side. Now currently the game released as an early access on PC and the developers are saying that the game will be coming to PlayStation VR in Q1 2020 so not too long to wait and definitely something to look forward to. I had tons of fun playing it. Okay so let me know in comment section what you think to this game and of course if you like what you see then please press a like because it does helps the channel a lot and if you're new to the channel and are not subscribed then subscribe it's always better when it's more of us and that's it bye